And it's time right now for the Sioux Falls Real Estate Weekly Update. I have Brent Baker in the studio with me. How are you doing, sir? I am wonderful. Brent. Ask me. <laughs> yeah. I am. <laughs> well, you look good. <laughs> you smell good. <laughs> face, for weird. A face for radio. Face for radio. No, we're excited to have Brent. Uh, each Monday, we get together and we chat about what's happening in the real estate world. And Brent is a realtor with uh, Keller Williams and Clients First Group in Sioux Falls. And uh, how long have you been a realtor? It's been a bit now. Um, a really long time. <laughs> you have to count on a couple of hands, maybe <laughs> yeah, one foot, yeah, something like yeah. that. Yeah, don't make me take my shoes off. Okay. Well, we are going to talk today about something that was just recently in the news last week. There, I remember seeing something about you know somebody wanting to do uh, like a short-term rental, like they call them Airbnb, Verbo, that kind of stuff. And uh, so we chatted a little bit about that, and and we also talked about maybe some people who. Uh, they have a house they're going to sell, but they're going, I'm going to wait because I don't think I'll get it sold for what I want to sell for. I'm going to rent it out. This is not for everybody, is it? No. Clearly, being a landlord um, takes a lot of patience. Yeah. You need to know what the rules are, and you need to have control of your emotions so that you don't dig yourself a hole. Yeah. And and for you, it's an investment. It's your home. It's something. But for some people, that's just a that's just a place I'm renting. It's a whole different, and they don't necessarily treat it the way it should be treated. But we're going to talk about some things to consider before you make the dive into becoming a landlord. So where, where do we even start with this? Well, I think the first place anybody should start is just a self analysis of themselves. Do I have the patience to deal with people? Yeah. Do I understand that there will be challenges? I'm out. <laughs> just kidding <laughs> but then you need to know what the legal requirements are um every city may um some communities have very different rules sioux falls is instituting new rules you have to register your properties uh limitations as far as airbnbs how many there can be and so forth so it's not as simple as just hanging the shingle yeah you do have to meet health and safety requirements along with registration requirements. And in doing that, again, that's not necessarily something that's going to be appealing to everybody. So when they look at this, they might go, eh, maybe I shouldn't be a landlord. Maybe I should just sell this instead. Correct. There might be a better place for that money um, or other investments. Another thing that comes into play is maintaining the property. Oh, yeah. Um, Residential rentals are very different than commercial. Yeah. And maintenance will be required. Um, a good landlord needs to provide certain level of safety and health. Granted, the tenant is supposed to, um, you know, obviously keep it clean inside. But there are things that will come up, such as furnaces, ACs, all of that. So you have to be building a budget to make repairs, replacements, and just understand that over time, there's going to be wear and tear. Absolutely. Absolutely. And people don't always necessarily see eye to eye on things. So that's another thing where there could be some disputes that you have to worry about. I think this and they think that. And, you know, so there's a, that's another whole layer, isn't it? It is. So your lease contract, and it does have to be written yeah. and very specific about who's going to mow the lawn, remove the snow, um, the policy or procedure for um, when there is a problem. Yeah. How it's going to be handled. And also, if you're a landlord, uh, in some cases, you might be required to hire licensed professionals mm-hmm. to make repairs because you are a landlord, and therefore liability can fall on that landlord. And that's not necessarily something that you can do on your own or just send over a buddy. That that, that might might require much more than that, I suppose. Well, here again, it goes back to what are the city regulations and what is the task that needs to be accomplished. And we will continue this conversation next week as we have another real estate update with Brent Baker. And Brent, if somebody would like to connect with you, what is the best way for them to get a hold of you? I can be found at 605-310-0297 or brentbaker at kw.com. Very nice. Again, Brent Baker with Clients First Group and Keller Williams, and you can find him online at clientsfirstgroup.com.